This will be a little demo on how to create a walk cycle in Flash. Um, one of the things I've done beforehand is get my art ready. So I've got uh, it broken down into folders over here, but I've got the left leg, so it's a, the upper leg, lower leg, and foot. Same thing for the right leg. And then I have the waist, body, head, left arm, right arm. I didn't, I'm only going to be focusing mostly on the feet. So I'm not going to bother with doing some arm poses. Um, so I put this all into one symbol. So on my main stage, I have my one symbol of the zombie walk cycle here. I double click, and I've got all of my layers here of all of the symbols I just had shown. So. Um, a couple things I want to go over. I'm just going to do this on a 24 second uh, walk cycle loop. 20, well, one second is pretty standard. So I've got all my parts here and I just inserted a frame on all of them. One of the things I like to do is I like to go into my parts and I like to set the pivot points all to where they need to rotate so it starts to rotate at the knee and this will rotate at the ankle so that's the first thing I do after I place all my symbols together that one looks like it's already done oh. okay. the waist I'll keep at the center. Oh. The body I'll put down here because it'll rotate if anywhere around the, the waist. And then my arms. And then this arm. And the head. So, from here, the next thing I want to do that I've got all my pivot points set is I want to create a motion tween on all of these. Let's see if we could do it all. Yep. So I just created a motion tween on all of them, all of my layers. And the next thing I'm going to do is I want to show you. Um, I'm going to create one more new layer. So I have my walk cycle reference here. So anytime I need to reference a pose, I can do that simply by looking at my uh, walk cycle reference. I um, just googled walk cycle reference poses or something. Um, this is from uh, Richard Williams, the animator survival kit, I believe. And it's a great, uh, it's got tons of great information in there regarding walk cycles, run cycles, uh, jumping and landing motions and all types of stuff. So um, if you ever get a chance, take a look at that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start to pose them out. But one last thing I also need is a ground line. And OK. And Lock both of those. And now I'm ready to begin animating. So the best way to go about it is to start by doing your contact pose and just make sure 
that you're on the very first layer. I'm going to click and drag. I'm going to drag them slightly down. And I'm going to take my right leg. And here's one unfortunate thing. Um, using my free transform tool, I need to constantly be dragging this up to my pivot point so when I deselect it doesn't retain that so I need to constantly continue to drag that up it is kind of a nuisance but um, it's still one of the fastest ways I can think of to animate a walk cycle uh, and especially another way other than doing a hand drawn frame by frame so I'm just going to pose my character out, something like that. And I didn't go ahead and add the toes section and stuff. This is just sort of going to, yeah, trying to just get some basic basics down. Um, otherwise, I would have this toe bent this way. So the next thing, I have my down pose. So from here, and I'm just going to focus on the feet for now. Drag them down slightly because it's my down pose. And oops, I gotta make sure that I'm on the correct layer or on the correct frame. Um, I actually just noticed I want to change my foot slightly to have more of a bend, like so. And that means I'm probably going to need to drag my entire character down slightly. And I'm simply selecting from my layers and rotating and posing out on my uh, stage. So I like that contact pose a little bit better. And I'm just going to follow this reference for now. Next thing I do is I'm going to go out a couple frames and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create my down pose again. Make sure you have all of your layers selected. I'm going to go ahead and drag them. Ooh, didn't get them all. Okay, so now I've got him down a little bit slightly. And I made sure I moved my timeline. Okay, so I've got his leg coming down and his back foot. Something like so. Ooh. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm going to take a look at my next pose, the passing position. So I've got contact, down, and the next one's passing position. So I'm going to take my leg, and you'll notice here that his head actually raises up higher than the contact pose. So first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and drag my entire guy up. It's going to look a little wonky, but it'll be okay. And now I'm going to take my leg here, and I'm just posing it out. And this will happen sometimes, and it's really frustrating, but you just have to go back and kind of adjust your frames, because sometimes it'll slightly get thrown off. Okay. Okay, and now I'm going to move my other leg. It's 
to pass. And that generally slightly happens because the pivot point wasn't in the same exact spot or something like that. Um, generally. So I may need it to be something like that. I'm going to even have to drag it down a little bit for it to look right. And now I'm going to run through and I'm sure something weird is going to be happening. So let's take a look back now. And now check. Now B rises. Something like that. Next pose is the we've got our up position okay so now my next frame go ahead let's raise them slightly up and I can take his leg and take his other leg. Close that out. And it's really just a process of constantly adjusting your poses. And you, I'd also probably want to do some body bending or something like that. Contact. Up. Pass in. Actually, going to adjust these to be one frame over. Yeah. Macintosh mice, not very friendly for scrolling in this software. All right. So it's going to look a little wonky because I don't have the, the bend in the toe. And the arch just a little weird. However, it is getting the point across of what we need to do. Um, not worrying about arm poses, that's why I didn't make them in like different parts. And okay. And here I'll do the next pose, which will be the contact, but with the opposite foot leading forward. So we 
going to start with this foot this time. Oh, actually, start with it. And then now I'll go do the other foot. And you'll see that happen with the foot. What happens is you just got to go ahead and... Ooh, Looks like my pivot point got thrown off entirely. You literally just pay, place it back into place. Sometimes it happens, most of the time it shouldn't, but it does. Mm -mm. Throw it back into place. And when you play it back, it should be fine. Not maybe not on the in-betweens, but we're mostly only concerned about the key poses. Alright, so I've got the start here of my zombie walk. Go add a couple more frames. And then you would just continue the cycle all the way through. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll just post another video of what it'll look like when it's totally finished. But you just repeat this process all the way through until you get to the very, very last contact pose, which will be the same exact pose as your first one. So to keep that smooth animation going. So once I finish this, I'll go ahead and I'll show you guys uh, what it could look like when done. Um, but this is the gist of it. And if you need more frames, obviously you can just go ahead, insert more frames, and everything's good. So that's it for the walk cycle. Um, just remember you'd have to repeat this process all the way through until you get back to the original key pose. So I'll show you um, some t uh, a little couple tips in the next part. Um, this will be part one, and then I'll go ahead and record part two and get up as soon as possible. Uh, thanks for watching.